Oh, street food in an alley. You don't got your passport yet? Subscribe right now. Street food, guys. I'm getting an uh, egg uh, sandwich. I seen some other guy eating it the other day, so I figured, you know what, let me let me try some of it. She has her own little mixture of sauces and everything. Okay, so she's putting it in an oven. That's something I appreciate. So it's gonna get a little crispy uh, type of bread. I wonder how they heat up this oven though. Interesting. Probably some coals in the bottom, something hot, and that's how they heat, she heats it up. If you wonder where I'm at, I'm actually in this alleyway where my hostel is. So it's pretty congested, but this is what a lot of people are eating here. But it's a cool spot to be to immerse yourself. I'm supposed to be checking out tomorrow. I'm, you know, looking for an apartment, but I don't want to actually literally leave this area. I want to be in the midst of this area. So I might just stay one more day in a hostel or two more days in a hostel. Uh, because it's like so convenient to record in this area. I wonder what time it is. It's six, five in the afternoon. Five, or oh, it's about to be six in the afternoon. Vietnamese time. I post this video up later on today. You'll probably get this around three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, she's hooking it up. You know what I mean? Gotta put a little sauce up in there. Yeah, a little sauce, a little saucy. Okay. A little sauce. Yeah, of course, that sauce. I'm not a, uh, more of that. Yeah. I ain't eat anything all day, guys. So, yeah. It's 20,000 dollars for this uh, sandwich. So, it's some, some tomato, cilantro, uh, and the egg, and then some other concoctions she has in the mix. Try it. Try anything you want. The bread is not even warm. I thought the bread would be hot. I mean stale. Some fresh bread she's dealing with. Most definitely some Asian influence in this sandwich. I, just, I guess that was the spices she put in the egg so I could really taste it once I get into the eggs right here. The cilantro gives it a nice, fresh flavor to it, man. Oh, street food in an alley. You don't got your passport yet? <laughs> Vietnam alley street food. Oh, it's really good, guys. I think when you travel, this is what it's all about, too. Even though it's like a traditional sandwich, it's worth trying it in a different country because they use different type of spices and stuff, so you get a different type of flavor you never taste before. It's like a different type of chicken. It's a different type of food they feed in the chicken. The chicken eating different type of <laughs> meat and different type of I did not eat. I don't know if he's eating meat, but <laughs> he's eating different type of rice, all that. It come out tasting different. Very good. If you're new, subscribe. I'm gonna be giving you more street food in Vietnam, all right? More exotic, we're just starting, all right? It's around six o'clock in the afternoon, guys, and this is the type of traffic you're gonna see coming down the street. It's kinda light, it gets more congested. A lot of people are getting off for work, so they're getting their, their uh, early dinner on. What is that food over there? She got the deep fryer boiling and it looks like some empanadas. I don't know what they call it. It seems to, like some of it has some shrimp on top of it. I don't know what do you call it, but it, it looks kind of good. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, she's cutting the, what it looks like, she's cutting the whiskers of the, the shrimp off. And she's creating a plate. This is a popular spot, guys. A lot of people are here. This one is the one taking the orders. A lot of people like coming here, it seems. I wonder how much. How much is this place? Yeah. 30, 30, 39,000 for 40,000? Yeah. Oh, with the soup? I don't want the soup. That is the sauce. That is not for you. Oh, the sauce. Okay. I guess what this is going to be a cool episode. Alright? <laughs> so, it's a. Uh, the pool is great here. I like the ambiance. You know, just sitting in a, a street corner. You know, middle of the street, around rush hour traffic, trying to eat some food. Oh, whoa, real fast. Fast, thank you. Okay, guys, so we got these chopsticks here. I'm still trying to learn how to use these chopsticks, but hey, we're going to make it work. All right, got that. I think got to dip that in there. All right. Let's try it. Mm. Maybe very soft and crispy. The sauce, I, I didn't know what the sauce was, but it has like a, a tangy, sweet taste to it. It's really good. Try this now. I'm gonna eat it without the sauce, see how it tastes without the sauce. Mm. More cilantro. It feels very fresh, very healthy. Mm. It's not fried or anything, but it's, it's really fresh, okay? This is like something real healthy. Now dip it in some of that. If you're gonna eat it, it doesn't need the sauce. It, 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 it tastes actually better without the sauce, all right? So now let's go on to the, this right here, guys. It's got this, it's like the shrimp head. Fried everything. I'm gonna try to eat it without the sauce, and then I so that way I can tell the difference. But it's fried, so it probably tastes wonderful with the sauce. But I want to taste the difference without the sauce. Let me flip it around. It's like some sh shrimp and some dough. Mm. I appreciate this. <laughs> This is the type of stuff to keep me fat. Mm. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. I saw how she was cooking it. She did her thing. <laughs> Very good. This particularly is my favorite right here out of everything. But everything is uniquely different. Like if I want to maintain a diet, I probably would go for this. You know, let's try to split it. I don't want to split it open. But you, you know, I just wanted to get, yeah, get you a clear look inside of it. Yeah, man. That's not bad right there. You know? And here, I feel like there's some pork in there. It's really good. It tastes awesome. And you notice I ain't try this, right? <laughs> I think I... Even the lettuce is different. Like they just picked this out of the ground. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> In other words, no preservatives. I really feel like I'm eating healthy, even with the fried food. I need to go check out the market. I want to check out the market, see what type of stuff they have actually at the market, because this was actually dope. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. More food videos of Hanoi, Vietnam, and other places in Vietnam coming soon. Share this video with all your Asian friends. Share it with all your, your, your peoples, alright? Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.